Okay, this is Matthew Boyer and BigBrotherNetwork.com here with one of our new Big Brother house guests. Introduce yourself, tell us about you, everything we should know. My name is Jason Roy, I'm from Fall River, Massachusetts, and I stock groceries for a living. It's very oh. thrilling. <laughs> so this might be a step up in the adventure level. Oh, for sure. Okay, so tell our readers uh, about your journey to get here. You tried out for a lot of times, was this totally I new? actually have only auditioned once. Nice. I sent in a video for Big Brother 15, um, bullet dodged, and um, <laughs> last year I did not apply. And then this year I was thinking, you know, I don't really know if I'm good at this self-editing mm. or really deciding what I want to say on video. I'm just a, I, it all comes out. Mm. So I went to an open casting call and it's all been written in from there. Nice. All right. And what do you think it is about you that they said we've got to get this guy and make him? You know what? Up? I wonder that because I don't. I it might just be that I am so possibly over the top and loud, <laughs> and I'm such a personality. Um, it probably wasn't because I came in there saying I have the most. I'm not a Derek. I didn't come in there saying I got the most amazing strategy that you've never seen. <laughs> it's probably more personality basis. All right. Okay, so name one thing that you want the other house guests to know about you that you think could be an advantage, something that might help you. That I would want them to know about me? Yeah. Hmm. Probably, well, they will know that I come off very, very friendly, hmm. but that's just because I've worked in customer service for so many years that I know how to be a people pleaser. So I think that they will just think that I am non a physical threat, and they will think that I'm just friendly and I'm probably just there to be a clown for the cameras. And they probably won't really realize that I am here to play the game. So um, I think I would just want them to know that I am a ball of a sense of humor and let everything else be over their head. All right, now on the other side, name one thing that you don't want any of them to know because it might hurt you. What I don't want anyone to know because it might hurt me is probably that I... It, you're going to have to kill me to get me off an endurance challenge. Yes. I am pit bull mentality. You're going to pull my cold, dead skeleton off of whatever hanging contraption they're working with. So um, I don't want them to necessarily know that. Although, who knows, the very first night they might all realize that when yeah. I'm in the first HOH because I'm up there for nine hours. All right, well, let's jump right to that. Uh, first HOH, yes. you've just won it. Are you going to go for the big threat imposing house guest or a quiet, no one's going to miss her? Sort of waiting for it to come to me. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of first HOHs that get invited into alliances that they wouldn't normally mm -hmm. be invited into. So the only way a male type of brigade type is going to invite me in is if I'm the first HOH. Okay. So um, it necessarily isn't a bad thing to win that first HOH for me, but my main strategy, maybe not in that first HOH, is to get out the big threats. Mm -hmm. I want to be standing there with me and six girls. All right. Okay, so let's go from, let, let's talk about that first week. Uh, say something went wrong, you didn't get the uh, endurance win, the HOH comp, or you decided whatever. Uh, what are you going to do to make sure you are not the first person evicted? Well, I think that everyone will look at me like, this kid looks like he's 12, he weighs 40 <laughs> pounds, there is no way that he is going to really be a threat in this game. They probably think I am just there to be the friggin' jester. So, um, I just think that sort of laying low in that sense and let them think that as much as I am a super fan, mm. and as much as I am a historian, I'm not actually playing the game. Okay. All right, so Derek talked about... Uh, last season's winner, Derek, talked about that you can't so much have a strategy as rather a plan and approach. Right. What are you thinking on your plan and approach? My plan and approach is mainly to try to, you know, girls' alliances mm. never really work. But if you look back on past seasons, the only seasons that they work a little bit, as much as I hate to, like, bring up the friendship, but they work when you have the gay glue. Yeah. If you have one gay male, you can sort of unite the women just long enough. Yeah. So I hopefully am going to get as many men out as possible, work with the girls until the girls completely self-implode on each other, <laughs> and then I'll be there when the dust settles. What? But I mean, of course, there are so many other that might not work. I might yeah. cut, if there's a showmance, I'm gonna be that showmance's girl's best friend. She can, she can call me her chihuahua. I'll stand behind them, let them be a meat shield. All right, so you've been watching, you know the game. Yes. Who's, uh, if you look back over the seasons, 
Whose game do you think you might be sort of the closest to? Well, you know, there's a lot of people that I say, this is my favorite, my favorite house guest, hmm. but I necessarily wouldn't play their exact type of game. One of my favorite house guests is Danielle Donato, and it's because she was never afraid to really open her mouth and mm -hmm. say this or that. So um, I sort of mirror that, but one of my favorite, favorite house guests that I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on is Danielle, uh, Danielle, no, Diane Henry from season mm -hmm. five. Because a lot of people look at her like, yeah, she made a mistake at the end of the game. But right. Diane really ran season five. And she's a similar mentality where she wasn't biting her tongue for anyone. And um, she knew when to flip sides and mm -hmm. when to go with this side and when to go with that side. So honestly, it'd probably be most like Diane's game. Okay. All right, so finally, aside from winning the 500K, yep. what, what's your personal goal here? You know, you, you're a longtime fan. What do you want to get out of this? My personal goal has already been made, oh. which was getting on this. The, the, it's already, everything after this is the icing on the cake, because I never, this was always like a sick fantasy dream of mine that I yeah. thought was unattainable, and here it is. So anything after this is good. If I leave there, being the first house guest evicted, at least my name goes the, on, on Wikipedia <laughs> under season 17. At least I can say I was there. All right, thank you, Jason, and good luck. We'll thank be watching. You. Thank you.